Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be solving biology paper 1 variant 2, February March 2019. So let's get started. Question number one says, a living organism X can make its own food, get rid of toxic materials and detect and respond to stimuli. What other four processes must organism X carry out to stay alive? Make its own food, its nutrition, get rid of toxic materials, its excretion, detect and respond to stimuli, its sensitivity. An acronym used for the processes that organisms have to carry out is Mrs. Gren. So let's cut out the ones that organism X already did. Nutrition, excretion, sensitivity. So now all we need is movement, respiration, growth, and reproduction, which is C. What's the correct way of naming a species using the binomial system? The binomial system says that it should be a genus with a capital first letter and then a species with a small first letter. So the answer is A. Question number three says, the diagram shows a pea pod, which is a fruit. Use the key to identify the fruit. Sepals fall off as soon as the flower is fertilized. So this flower is already fertilized because the seeds already formed and the sepals are still there. So it's do not fall off, go to three. Fruit split to release several seeds. We have five seeds, so it is several seeds and not one seed. Question number four says, the diagram shows two cell, an animal cell and a plant cell. Which process can be carried out by only by only one of these cells. Controlling the chemical reactions in the cell is by the nucleus, which is in both, so it's not A. Controlling the movement of cell sub of substances into the cell is the cell membrane, which is in both, not B. Making starch is the chloroplast, which is only in the plant, so answer is C. Question number five says, the diagram shows a palisade mesophyll cell from a green leaf. Which labeled part does photosynthesis occur? It occurs in chloroplasts. I was about to write photosynthesis. And where the where are chromosomes found? They're found in the nucleus. So chloroplast is Y because it's lighter in color and it's present in a large number. Not even a large number, just more than one is enough. So the answer is Y, C or D. Chromosomes are found in the nucleus, which is W because it's only one, it's dark, it's bigger. So answer is D. Question number six says, the photograph shows a cross section of a root. The root hair and the xylem are part of the same. They're not part of the same cell. They're part of the same organ, which is the root. And they're part of the same organism, which is the plant. So the answer is C. The diagram shows a fly. The line XY represents the length of the wing. The length of line XY is 26 millimeter. The actual size of the wing between x, y is 4 millimeter. What's the magnification? So let's write out the formula. Magnification is measured length over actual. How I remember it is ma right here, then ma if that helps. So it's measured, which is 26 over the actual, which is 4, which gives you 6.5. Always make sure that they are the same units because this is a trick cameras really like to pull on us is to have different units and have the same answer in the options so that you can pick it. Question 8 says a frog is an animal. A frog skin is permeable to oxygen and carbon dioxide. When a frog is swimming in pond water, in which directions will there be a net diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide? From the frog into the water means that it's getting rid of it, which is something that you don't want. So it's carbon dioxide not oxygen not oxygen there will be movement so it's a and into the frog means it needs it so it's oxygen question number nine says which process only involves the movement of water through a partially permeable membrane once you see water in partially permeable membrane the answer is osmosis that's the definition for it. it's pretty straightforward the diagram shows the effect of an enzyme working in the human digestive system what would reduce the rate of production of amino acids Removing the amino acids, no, because that increases the rate. Increasing the amount of protein, no. Raising the temperature, this is not a huge change. It's only 0.1 degrees Celsius, so no. Raising the pH to 7.5, yes, because it's a very drastic change. Question 11 says, the diagram shows an experiment to investigate photosynthesis. What is the most abundant gas present at the top of the tube at the end of the experiment? It's photosynthesis, so it 
It takes in carbon dioxide and forms oxygen. So at the end of the experiment, oxygen is going to be the one formed. Answer is D. Question number 12 says, DCPIP can be used to test for vitamin C in food. Lemon juice contains vitamin C. So you're looking for a positive result. Well, the positive result for DCPIP is blue to colorless. You have to memorize this by heart. There's no other goal. Answer is A. What's meant by chemical digestion? Digestion is number one from large to small. Number two, insoluble to soluble. Large to small, insoluble to soluble. So answer is A. Question number 14 says, the diagram shows a cross section through a plant stem. So you have tissue one and tissue two. And how I remember the position of the two tissues, xylem and phloem, is I just remember that xylem is like a bougie person, a queen kind of. So xylem is always inside. If it's like inside and outside, it's always inside or at the top. And phloem is also always either outside protecting it or at the bottom kind of carrying it if that makes sense obviously a queen has bodyguards and the xylem has a flow and it's kind of a stupid way to remember it but whatever helps so tissue 2 is inside so it's the xylem and it's being protected by the outside flow in xylem transports and supports the flow only transports so tissue one flowing it only transports transports and supports because like a way i remember this is like the queen supports its country or its kingdom or whatever i don't know you guys can make up your own way let us know in the comments question number 15 says a leafy shoot is placed in a solution of red dye after 30 minutes, which part of the leaf from the shoe will contain the red dye? It's gonna be the xylem. So it's B. Question number 16 says The diagram shows stages in the passage of water through a plant. Which arrow shows water moving in the form of water vapor? So it means it's transpiration moving outside the cell, which is B. But let's look at the rest. D is from the soil into the root so no because that's liquid here it's inside the xylem so no inside the cells no question number 17 says the diagram shows a cross section a section of the heart what is the function of the structure labeled q so let's label it the bigger thicker wall is the left so left ventricle left atrium right ventricle right atrium another way you can remember it is wherever your right hand is is the left so it's the opposite side what's the function of the structure label q it controls the amount of blood leaving the heart no because it leaves right here there's a valve after it so no it increases the pressure in part r it has nothing to do with it it's on the other side it prevents backflow of blood back into this is true so the answer is c Question number 18 says, the body has different types of defenses against pathogens. Which defenses help to prevent pathogens reaching the alveoli when breathing in? Hairs in the nose, yes. Mucus, yes. Skin, no. Antibodies, no. Because by the time antibodies get to the pathogens, um, they would have been already in the alveoli. Question 19 says, what are the approximate percentages of oxygen and carbon in inspired air? Oxygen is 20 to 21. Carbon dioxide is 0 0.04. 20 is Answer is C. Question number 20 says the flow diagram summarizes three different ways that glucose can be broken down to release energy, which rule involves action of enzymes. This is respiration in humans. This is anaerobic respiration in humans. This is respiration in yeast. So they all require enzymes. This is something you have to know by heart. Answer is D. Question 21 says, which of these would increase the volume of urine produced by humans? Being in a hot environment, when you're hot, you sweat more. 
So the water that goes into your body is leaving in sweat. So the urine is less. Drinking large volume of water, yes, because you have more water to excrete out. Suffering from diarrhea, no, because the water will leave your body through the feces, not the urine. Running a long distance, no, same idea as this, you sweat more and water leaves in the sweat, not urine. Which structure controls the amount of light entering the eye? Cornea, no, because it literally can't. Iris, yes, because Iris is the one, here's your eye. Now how I remember this is like, you see the circle, it kind of looks like a P, so that's the pupil and then, I don't know, that makes sense. So. The pupil is just a hole, it kind of looks like a pea, so it's a pupil that helps you guys, and that's the iris. Now the pupil is just a hole, it can't do anything, iris is the one that contracts and relaxes to control the amount of light, lens no, because it just diffracts it onto the retina, and then retina no. Question number 23 says, which hormone is secreted by the pancreas? Adrenal is secreted by the medulla, so no insulin is by the pancreas estrogen is by the ovaries and this is by the testis so answer is b question number 24 says in which organ is alcohol broken down in the liver liver is the organ that breaks down most toxins so you kind of just have obviously it's not the brain Obviously not the stomach, not the kidney. Question 25 says, antibiotics can be used to treat some infections. Antibiotics can treat infection caused by only bacteria, viruses, no, not all pathogens. 25 is C. Question 26 says, the diagram shows a strawberry plant. Which labeled part of the plant can be produced by asexual reproduction? The answer is D. It's obviously not a flower because that's for sexual, not a fruit that's sexual. And then a leaf only can't be, but this one has a leaf, has a stem, has roots. It can be produced by asexual reproduction. Question 27 says, what must always be available to allow seeds to germinate? The only thing that has to be available is water. I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> Without carbon dioxide can generate without light because it doesn't need it mineral solids no because the seed will already have its own minerals and its own nutrients question 28 says what's the possible order of events during label and birth so first the uterus muscle begin to contract to kind of push the baby out so it's either c or d and then the cervix dilate and then the amniotic Obviously, baby passes through is the last, so it's kind of the only option. So 28C, that's, that was an easy one. Question 29 says, the diagram shows a woman's body temperature during a menstrual cycle. Mon monitoring body temperature is one natural method of birth control. During which part of the menstrual cycle should sexual intercourse be avoided to try to prevent pregnancy? So, right here, where the body temperature increases is where ovulation occurs where the egg is released so anytime before and after it and during it after, like this is exactly where so a few days before a few days after it is where a woman can get pregnant because the egg is already out so b should be avoided Question 30 says, what's the name of the length of DNA that codes for protein? This is a pretty straightforward question. It's a gene. That's the definition for it. Question 31 says, which cells in the human body are produced by the process of meiosis? The only cells produced by meiosis are sex cells, which are sperm cells or egg cells. So the answer is B. Question 32 says, which human characteristic is an example of discontinuous variation discontinuous variation means that it's kind of like a yes or no like there's only two options it shouldn't be two but it shouldn't be like a range so height it can be somebody can be like 150 
centimeter 152 153.53.5 skin color there's a lot of ranges there's a lot of different skin tones and undertones weight it can be fine but tongue rolling is either yeah you can roll your tongue or no there's only two possible question 33 says an adapt an adaptive feature of an organism is defined as the one that helps the organism to survive and to reproduce that's kind of a definition too not much explaining question 34 says what's the principal source of energy input sun sunlight that's clear question 35 says which process it's sun because the plants need the sun that's like the first organism is the plant and where does it get the energy from the sun so that's the main the first source Question 35 says, which processes involve water falling from clouds towards the ground? From the clouds, so it's rain, all the sleet, all the precipitation. Question 36 says, which enzyme in a biological washing powder will help remove fatty stains? Fats are broken down by lipase. And how I remember this is lipids are fats. Or you can also remember like a lip, it's fat, I don't know. It's the <laughs> Question 37 is corn is a crop plant. Glowworms are organisms which give up light. Which process could use these two species to make corn plants which glow? Breeding the organisms together, you can't you can't just get any two species and breed them together. Causing mutations, no, because you never really control what happens during a mutation. Selective breeding, no. Transferring genes, yes. This is genetic modification to the um, cross plants together or animals. Question 38 says, what is used to reduce competition from weeds when growing crops? Deforestation, no. From weeds, which means a herbicide. 38 seeds. This is for like insect fertilizer. It doesn't reduce competition, it grows them more. Question 39 says the food web shows the feeding relationships in a woodland. If all the I'm not even gonna read that, these ones in the food webs die, which effect would this have? What will happen? The caterpillars will be eaten less so they'll increase and then the trees will decrease because the caterpillars are eating them more. Caterpillars will have less food to eat so they will decrease. So let's read out the options. The amount of damage to trees will increase. This is true but let's read the rest in case. The food supply for gray squillers will increase. No. The number of wood pigeons will increase. Nah, that's nothing to do with it. The population of caterpillars will decrease no they will increase and the last question says where is the example of non-renewable trees are renewable fossil fuels yes fish are renewable they reproduce biofuels are also renewable thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video keep away the fagans uh, all i made some paper uh, rolling with my day ones yeah hammer hammer let me throw it down